Hi, and welcome back to the joy of origami. As you can see from what I have here, today we are going to look at how to fold a snake. Now, this is a very simple fold. I believe this may be a traditional fold. I have never been able to find an author uh, behind this one. Uh, if someone knows the author, please tell me and I will credit him, of course. Uh, but I find this fold in many, many books and it's usually listed as traditional, so I'm not sure. Uh, but as you can see, it's somewhat 3D, not entirely, but a little bit. It can stand up there. And how well it's stands up depends on how well you fold. You see this one I didn't fold. Uh, right here I didn't fold so well. Um, but how well it stands up depends on how well you fold these creases here, these um, zigzag creases. And you see both sides of the paper are going to be folding in this model, or excuse me, are going to be showing in this model. So pick a color you like, or if you happen to have a paper with two colors, one on each side, that might be a good um, that might be a good paper to use for this model. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. To begin with, uh, pick a color that you like, and let me pick a different color here than what I've used before. How about a yellow. Okay. So first we are going to make uh, two guidelines here. Uh, so I would like you to fold the paper uh, into quarters. You can do that by just folding one corner to the other corner and crease. and one corner to the other corner. Let's go ahead and crease that also. Okay. Now, your next step is you are going to fold one corner to the middle that crease you made right there. Turn it around. Fold the opposite corner to it, that middle crease. And also fold it to the top crease you just created. Now turn around. And you are going to fold this to this top crease. Now, if you want to be really careful on this model, um, these creases should line up. You don't really have to be that careful, but if you are going for exactness. And the final uh, guide fold here, you're going to fold the corner to the nearest crease. Do the same for the other side. Okay, here we go. So we have a lot of guides here. Now turn over. Now on the other side, let's start at this corner. You're going to fold this corner to the first crease again. that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to fold this crease to this crease, like this. And again, the more exact you are here, the better 
it'll stand up um, when you have your finished model. So you might want to take some time <coughs> uh, to do that. Now, fold this crease to this crease. And finally, fold this crease to the middle. turn over and do the exact same thing. And I'm just going to unfold this a little bit um, to make it easier for you to see maybe. So same thing, fold the corner to the first crease. Fold and just fold each crease to each crease like this. don't really have to take too much time here. This can go very, very quickly. Okay, so when you finish, you have something like this. Okay? Now, we're going to count one, one diamond, two diamonds, three diamonds. The third diamond we are going to fold behind. So we're going to do a mountain fold here. And by the way, I call that a mountain fold because I just created a mountain. Clever, huh? Um, okay. Now, this next fold is a little tricky, so please watch carefully. I'll take one of my finished models to show you. You see what I have here? I'm... Let's open that a little. So I'm folding this over. Now that's kind of a tough fold to do, but watch me carefully. A lot of people create guide folds to do this. I find you really don't need the guide folds if you do this carefully. Okay? So, fold this open, fold this side open, and start to fold these together. And what you'll notice is it starts to bulge right here. So go ahead and let it and close this over. And there you go. That's all. Let's look at that again. So you see now I have the folds in place. So all I did was I held this I held this straight while I started to close from the back and then I just helped this close. You might have to practice this a few times to get it right. Um, it is a little tricky, so take your time. Now, our next fold is going to be very similar. I want to reverse the head here, you see? So to do that, I'm just going to find a point here, close to this triangle, and I'm going to kind of push. And there we go. That's all there is to it. And it's your choice. You can have the head looking down or looking up. I'm just going to have it looking straight. Okay, and we are almost done. Our next step is we are going to fold here right at the neck. And then every half triangle, we are going to make another fold. So here, here here, here, here. And you see, I'm just going to zigzag. Now, I'm not being entirely accurate here. Again, I don't think it matters that much, but if you are a perfectionist, go ahead and knock yourself up. Knock yourself out, excuse me. And 
there you go. You might want to work the neck a little bit. There is my snake. Let me see if he can crawl up. Okay. I will include some links in the show notes for this episode, so please be sure to check those. And thank you for watching, everyone. Happy folding.